Let's do a character controller demo next. We have a number of character controller demos here, but they're better at showing what is possible and it's not very clear from them how to actually set up a character controller, so I'm going to build one from scratch instead. Let's start by creating a ground plane and create a cube as an obstacle. We're going to move it here and maybe scale it a bit so it can act as a wall for us. We're going to make it have a static collider. And we're also going to create a capsule, which is going to represent us, the player. The way to make this capsule into a character controller is by making sure that the character controller extension is loaded. So that should be here under general, make sure it's enabled as it is for us. And once you do that, if you go to the physics menu, then there will be a character controller window. So once you select your capsule, you can then click activate here and that's going to give it the correct properties to act as a character controller. Now, if we start playing immediately, you can see that a mouse look has been activated. That means I can uh, move the point of view of my player using the mouse and uh, I can use WASD to move around with the capsule controller. And uh, you can see that if I bump up against the wall, I don't go through it. But uh, if I move uh, at, a, at an angle to the wall, it's going to slide along the wall. Now I would also be able to add stairs or inclines that I would be able to climb like this. Um, you can see the more detailed settings of the character controller here. If you scroll down, there will be a physics rollout added to the capsule and then a character controller. There's a number of relatively technical settings. Maybe important is a slope limit that basically controls uh, what is the steepest slope that you can still climb with the controller. Of course, the up axis of the capsule controller and um, Besides that, it's kind of like the, the height of stairs that you're able to climb, that kind of thing. 